Supreme Court has rejected Sri Padmanabha Swami Temple Trust's plea to exempt it from the special audit for 25 years. Now, this plea had been filed by the trustees of the Padmanabha Swami Temple seeking an exemption uh, from an audit that the Supreme Court itself had earlier ordered. That plea has now been rejected by the Supreme Court and it is directed that the exercise be completed within a span of three months. We're joined by Harish Nair for the latest updates on this particular story. Harish, what can you tell us about the Supreme Court's observation in relation to the plea that had been filed by the trustees of the Padmanabha Swami Temple? Yes, that's right, uh, Siddharth. The uh, Supreme Court has uh, declined a plea by filed by the trust of the Sri Padmanabha Swami Temple seeking to exempt it from the uh, audit of uh, 25 years as was ordered uh, last year. The trust had argued that it is a separate entity from the temple and uh, it has an independent zone and it cannot be audited. And the subject matter before the court last year was only pertaining to the temple, so the trust cannot be audited. But the Supreme Court has rejected the plea and said the audit should be completed as early as possible, preferably within three months. Uh, the, uh, the court observed that it is clear that the audit contemplated was not intended to be confined to the temple only, but with respect to the trust also. This direction has been has to be seen in the light of the reports of the amicus query in the case as recorded in the order in the, uh, 2015. Uh, the administrative committee of the, the temple had on September 17 told the appeals court that it is in great financial stress and the offerings are not sufficient to meet the expenses while seeking an audit of the temple related right, trust Arisha, run we, by we, the We'll term. await the reaction from the trustees of the Padmanabha Swami temple in relation to this development from the Supreme Court.